the big deal here is that Enigma is going to be in the jungle, and that means you only have Vengeful Spirit as lane support. So if, if there's a possibility that you're going to be pressured, Ooh. you'd play this. Okay. I'm doing it, guys. Getting For once, far. I'm not the person being in this position. He's like, oh. how do you like this? Ohio. He's gonna actually going to be stunned up. Looks like he's dead. He's going to be right clicked down as No Tail joins him. The fairy fire is not quite enough. DJ is going to show himself now with the double damage. He starts going on to No Tail and may actually be able to uh, get a lot done here. Is they are going to have to eat through the trees. No Tail, oh, no -tail gets a quick little juke. He's like the only support to win an MVP. Come on, that tells you something. <laughs> Moon gets an early level of time dilation. He's been battling it out back to mid lane, though. OD does end up going down. The advantage here, I guess, is that Moon is going to get pretty much free farm, which are going to trade out. Like Miracle's going to be gone on once again. Oh, boy. Extends himself to suffer quite a bit here. Miracle's going to get gone on by both Net and DJ. He can actually die. They do manage to get the actual imprisonment, but the orb is coming in. Mid one's going to be able to join this fight for a couple more right clicks. Miracle gets himself into the treats. That's still has a very fire, but Ned, he's so damn fast, he's going to be able to catch up, gets the frost blast that ends Miracle's life. Looks on the Sven at that top lane. And you see, bottom lane is actually maybe going very well as No Tail has been left alone for just a bit too long, and Fnatic quickly pounce on that one. The because the mid laning phase has gone so well, Ned can afford to do this. They're going to try and go on Mushi here. They've got the Chronosphere ready to go. Moon was already dealing some damage out, but they don't actually have enough. Mushi realizes this. He's definitely going to be able to turn this around. Throws out the stun. Moon's going to try and get a couple more right clicks. He doesn't have a time walk, though. He's fully committing. He'll be able to get the kill on Mushi. Why is here as well? While Ned does manage to pick up the kill on the face of Void, it looks like he's going to be dying to OG. We're going to be able to track him down. Fly will get the other one. A dominating streak that was picked up by Ned. Well, now turn to fly for a bit of extra gold. Yeah, they really needed that as in this mid lane, Crit is gonna come over, try to stun mid one, but he's gonna get the dodge off, no problem. Yeah, Does have possibly can. This is a uh, level four tight hunter in bottom lane though, Crit is gonna be picked off as mid one and DJ are able to jump onto him and there's they have so many adventure into the jungle. This is kind of scary. They will be able to find Crit. He is by his lonesome, so it looks like uh, a free takeoff there as the Shuriken helps give the extra bit of damage needed for Net to pick up the kill. The bounty hunter in the game to kind of propel things forward the later the game goes, but there we go. There it is. Moon's going to rotate down, and OG rotate across to see if they can get some sort of fight, but Fnatic have already backed themselves away. He escapes away. and is actually thinking about turning it around. He's got the Chronosphere ready to go, but his allies are nowhere near. Oh, he gets silenced up. Moon! This has been him all night. Just a bit over here. You're going to say, screw it, doesn't really matter. Let's just go for the five man. We have so many strong heroes. It's an awkward position. And the Chronosphere ready to go for the Ravage. Hit first. They hit on two. And OG, they've already lost their fight. The score begins. OG start retreating with the rest of their heroes. But Fnatic the team is finally coming in. OG making his way across right now. And it looks like they can actually take Roche. I, they've got to be careful. Like, yeah. There's still a portal and a chain cross available. DJ, no, oh, he barely gets tossed out of the range of the Sentry Ward until the second one is placed down by Fly. And now they're taking no. trip <laughs> They're actually going to try and take Roche on themselves. No Tail jumps right into the pit, and it looks like Fnatic are just going to be a bit too slow to respond. Jeez, hey, they just picked up. Sound laid out onto Moon. They try and pop in here. He's got the time on board. Hits the Chronosphere, but it's only on net. Unfortunately, the Puck did manage to squirrel himself away. Still, a kill to kill. And uh, Smoke. The biggest thing, Cap, is that you don't want to pop the Ravage unless A, you see a bunch of heroes, or B, you get a really good opportunity to counter initiate. Uh, Ned, he just runs straight in there, and OG managed to blow him up immediately. This could end up being a... Oh, nice Centaur stun. That one's actually a beauty. Fnatic. They need to do everything they can. He jumps on a no-tail. Nice Centaur stun. Turn around. Chris going to follow that up with a stun swap combination. Moon starts coming forward. Is looking for the Chronosphere. But he's going to have to wait for time walk number two. Actually has the blink forward. They are going to catch Mushi here. But still, Fnatic are coming in forward. They have big ones already here to be able to put the pressure on to no-tail. They blow him up. They caught Fly as well. They're going to be able to stay on to him. That's Moon now already. With Grid about to fall from the chain front. It's about to bounce the forward. Miracle's taking so much damage. Fnatic. They're going to go right this fight. Miracle attempts the ultimate. But it gets silenced up before and He goes down before anything is dropped, OG just bungling all of their spells, and that means Fnatic, they roll right through that fight and start putting pressure on the mid lane, they could take a tier 1, potentially even tier 2. They were kind of backing out, right, if I remember correctly? The, the moon, he better redeem himself here, he's sitting on the high ground with his time block and uh, Moon Dagger ready to go, they have the initiation, he actually jumped on, just grabbed DJ, now the counter initiation is going to come out from Ohio, he doesn't have anything, they do manage to get the 
damage. Awesome Eric over the chase boss once again. Bouncing around. They've already eliminated two heroes inside the pit. The OG is going to come right back. Fnatic though already coming outside the pit to try and chase down Dotel. The South pushback isn't going to be enough. Fushi's BKB who's still going strong. They're now going to be able to catch Miracle for life number two. He's going to turn, spite it out, try and drop the ultimate, but he can't even do that much. Fnatic are just schooling OG. Even with the Aegis advantage, I mean, Mushi's too big. They didn't even have to use Ravage there. Up here. Looks like the two of them might want to try to pop him with that dig on three, but everybody from OG. Oh, they actually hit the stun. Surprise on a mid one. They do get the Chrono Spear. The Ravage is not in time to be able to save the puck. That's going to be a big ability blown, and now the time dilation actually slows them down enough that OG might be able to pick off both as Ohio. Yep, uh, last right click comes in. It's a miracle. So much damage. Meanwhile, the bottom lane, they will be able to catch fly. That's a track kill as well. Can't forget about those. Still, that was a Ravage expended by Fnatic. There is something to be said about the fact that uh, the net worth is to be like, Oh, there's the Chrono Spear. They jump in, grab Mushi as well as Ohio. They're going to try and kill with Ohio first. They managed to get the Silent Talk to him, but he may still be able to track and tell it off. But it's the Ravage. There it goes. It goes off and drives the BKDs. Far off. Now here, by the good Miracle. They've got two in Black Hole, but the Cave Rock doesn't stop it. Mushi dropping low and lower. Mushi's Hello, BKB is getting low. Miracle. He's going to be able to drop the bomb still. But Jesus, Mushi's already cleared through the Joe Ranger in time. And he bounces himself backwards. Miracle. He's left at a loss. He doesn't know where he can ultimate or how fanatic they danced around og beautifully to be able to win the fight and now they're pursuing for the last remnant moon he's jumping away with the time watch but mid one's gonna be able to catch up he's got the dang and the blow him up three heroes down from og they thought they had it with the jumping chronosphere and the fall they were okay right there now the fanatic so rough they're gonna be able to get an Aegis and cheese. That's gonna be an axe just for when he dies, but this is a long 24 spam. Frontline with him and oh, he's got his opening grab. He goes down the mid to get a good swap. Save the mirror for play, but why? He can't afford to go down either. He pops the BKB. They're gonna turn on to Ohio now and try and beat him down with a stun on the mirror. But that dream crow lasting so long, they're not actually gonna get any damage. Finally, the corner's gonna come down, but Mushi jumps right over it. Straight on to uh, two. They've already taken out Miracle to buy back. He's gonna be able to come into play. Mushi's BKB is going to be fading away. It looks like he wants to fight this one out with the Aegis. Miracle starts dropping those bombs. He's going to start taking away big time intelligence and he's going to be ready for round number two against this fence. See if he can get the quick link away. Oh, the gun's not in the right time and O'Tail gets pulled up in the front. Oh no, now Miracle gets stunned up. He has to be able to drop the ultimate. They try to get the black hole to the chain box interruption. Now he imprints himself. Mushi's so damn low. It looks like the imprisonment should be able to finish off his several. Miracle trying to go. He definitely needs to be able to win this fight. Mid one pops the cheese though. And Fnatic, they're coming right back with vengeance. Mushi, life number three now on the board. I don't see how OG could possibly defend against Mushi again. And this is an okay position, oh, though. They haven't lost the rest. Fnatic, they gotta protect their carry here. Moon's just waiting it out. He almost has Chrono Spear, but he dies! He buys back. He's gonna try and TP in. They're slowing down Moon. He's the target Moon's here. This opportunity. He's gotta be able to take out this big carry off Fnatic, but he's getting away with the Glimmer Cave. He turns the attention to Met, Net and still, but it's not a kill that he really wanted. He's gotta get that set. They finally get the Chrono Spear. They're gonna be able to get mid one as well, so that does help recover things a bit. But Mushi was the able to stay ahead of that one looks like but kind of kind of close OG just spreading out and farming yeah. oh top lane Jesus crit just disappears under an onslaught of hits from Mushi Moon's looking for it oh he's gonna get it notice here Moon Underperforming all game long, but this pickoff could be huge. Mushi's already down to half health underneath this Chronosphere. Pops the BKB, but he has no boots to travel down. Starts fighting against, against Moon. Time on board, but they take him out. Midwan tried to come in with an orb, but that wasn't going to do anything. He's dead for two minutes time. A bash? No, not in time. Lich is going to be able to share to Miracle, and maybe they can just give up. Yeah, for one lane of rack. Miracle can't keep going. The first damage of Midwan is too much to handle. In fact, you're going to oh! The jump in for Moon. They managed to get through there, but Ohio, he's sitting on the side, waiting for his counter initiates he's not gonna go 25 seconds till this finish back up they don't want to do this they know the OG is too low for OG to be able to push forward and really go for much more this is perhaps past this melee racks
They're gonna go for this just because they know that the spend is up in 10 seconds. There's absolutely no chance that Mushi uses the buyback at this first swap here on a mid one. They're gonna be able to get the combo with the side of the They pull him up immediately. 80 seconds. Mm -hmm. They see No Tail. No Tail starts pushing forward. Ohio pops. The Sheev is there in response. Miracle. Oh, Mushi's actually jumped on Miracle. He's hitting on a crit as well. Crit strike come forward. Glimmer Cave will be able to protect him. Still on the right hand side. Ohio almost dies, but he next down the Ravage. He gets it on two times now. They're trying to deal with Moon. They're gonna be able to blow him up. Back over to Miracle, who has managed to deal with Mushi. He took him down, and there's a buyback from that big carry from Fnatic. Got the Refresher Orb now completed on this Enigma. This is why Fnatic, they need to go and find some sort of pickoff for Force to fight now. While well, the face is going down for 80 seconds. Hey, Ohio, is he a bit too far forward though? No Tails punishing him. The Dragon Shell going back. down. No Tails fully committing here to try and kill Ohio. He's got the vision. One more Ryan's last right quick, but it's not enough. 80 HP. Now No Tails is going to be controlled by the coil. And Moose, he's going to blow through him like cool. Oh my god, so quickly. He's got a buyback though on both him as well as the Mental Spirit. They just worth it, yeah. it is, but. Start sealing up. Right. They're just buying themselves time. Alright. So melee and range frags. Oh, the smoke really is going to run into mid one, mid one. Like quick down. Days. Oh no! He doesn't get off the instant blink out, and that means he get picked off. That's the gem down as well. I'll never think to look up there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you make, you have to kind of decide now. Like, what's it going to be? That doesn't have the right right in Ohio. He's going to be able to catch two. Miracle's already being just chopped up. They managed to get the swap back out. Miracle, he eats the cheese. Now he's going to be able to provide the turnabout. They've got the Chronosphere on Mushi. And the BKB is down. Why? He's stuck inside the Chronosphere. He's trying to run forward to be able to get the black hole on the Mushi. They know if they control him. They win this game. The BKB is already up rush again for Mushi. He turns. He fights. The imprisonment. He keeps Miracle alive. Will he be able to get the flick away? He doesn't actually have it. They start jumping onto him. The sun falls up. Miracle's down. Rose in the trees, putting himself on the cliff, trying to stay away. Time dilation, time walks up in a second, they go step him down and finish him off. OG, four heroes down, all of have buyback. This is fanatic chance to truly take control of this game, but potentially end it. He's gotta be so careful, he doesn't have buyback, but they're gonna completely go for the other side. Oh, the magical step up flies already away. Oh no, fanatic, they're in a bad position now. Miracle knows it too, he's got a pound with the corner spear over the top. OG just hit him, the down, he's down. Two minutes on the clock with the buyback ready to go, the OG. He dropped the ultimate, he takes down his other two! Triple kill for Miracle, and that all leads with Ohio going for that Ravage. They thought the kill might, might be back up for the throne defense. It's gonna be a close call, no tail pushing back mid one. DJ starts coming forward, they're gonna leave with the side of the fight, just a pittance of damage to try and tre threaten No Tail into popping that BKB. He does pop it now, the Dream Call comes in, Chrono Spear actually catching two, he actually got both fly and Miracle, that's not great! The Chain Box controlling things up, Mushi's now gonna go to town with the clean for the five hole comes in first, he's down for two minutes straight! Divine Rapier on the deck, Fnatic have no damage now, 30k net worth, zero gone, and OG taking full control of Fnatic's face in game number two, the jump in, the Ravage goes down, are oh, they actually gonna be able to do this? Let's fly! No, he turns around! Three men, black hole, fanatic are caught inside the pit! GG is called, and OG, they save off disaster in game number two and push it to game three against Fnatic. This is going to be so disappointing for Fnatic if they don't walk away with this series. This will be the game that they look back upon and say, that was our opportunity, but OG, we hyped it up for so long, we're like, they can still do this, they can still do this, eventually they complete the comeback. I was beginning to doubt it myself, Blitz, the Not words bad. felt I told you. in my that, mouth. That is the one issue with Sven. Once the BKBs get low, doesn't matter.